we must know that even after significant success for the Lord, attacks will come. This happened to a very good king who worked hard to bring Judah back to following the Lord. He reinstituted the Passover, which hadn't been kept for many years, calling people far and wide to participate. Despite these wonderful deeds, Hezekiah still faced attacks. In the first section of 2 Chronicles 32, we read, After these things, and the acts of faithfulness, Sennacherib, king of Assyria, came and invaded Judah, and encamped against the fortified cities, thinking to win them for himself. And when Hezekiah saw that Sennacherib had come, and intended to fight against Jerusalem, he planned with his officers and his mighty men to stop the water of the springs that were outside the city, and they helped him. We need to keep in mind that on this side of heaven, especially after we have some victory, we will face attacks. The devil is mad. But we are called to stay very close to the Lord, be on guard, especially after great success. The enemy is always planning new attacks. Hebrews 12, one says, Since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. Let me pray. Father, I thank you. I pray we remember that the battle is not ours, but yours. When we're in the heat of battle, help us to trust in you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.